the appeal of Methodism amongst the Anishinaabe, um, I, I and, other, and others, Donald Smith in particular, has studied this extensively. Uh, Methodism came about at a time when the Anishinaabe people were experiencing increasing European encroachment on, on their traditional lands around Lake Ontario. Uh, they were also experiencing a fair amount of disease, um, so they're not, they were seeing you know, their numbers being decimated. And I, Methodism, I think, because of its emphasis on um, individual transformation and then group transformation, uh, seem to have had quite a, quite a lot of appeal. So, for example, something like temperance, um, you know, for swearing alcohol, uh, seemed to be a, a way of introducing control back into a community that felt it was losing control. Um, certainly, there were um, there were in indigenous traditionalist re revivalist movements um, that had also ar argued for temperance. So, the the Methodists and Europeans weren't the only ones, but I think Methodism offered. Uh, a chance of transformation at a time when the world seemed to be changing very rapidly and not always for the best. Uh, so I think that's you know that's a great great deal of the appeal. Um, and what I see, I don't know if it's if it's I wouldn't say that it's specific to Methodism, but what I see amongst the Anishinaabe people is um, is a is a use of Methodism in in some ways that's more syncretic than perhaps we've we've thought of in Christianity. You know, incorporating um, various you know various images, various symbols that came from Anishinaabe culture in into Methodism uh, as well. Um, so it's it, it you know it's it's partly a way of regaining control, but it's also I think a part partly a way of uh, maintaining things that were already, you know, part of part of people's practices, part of people's world views. Now, certainly there were other other changes too. Um, Peter Jones, for example, argued for changes in gender relations, um, a more, um, and particularly around child rearing, um, a more authoritarian um, uh, perspective on child rearing than the Anishinaabe had had ever had, um, including the use of corporal punishment with children. Um, which not, not everyone agreed with, um, and there certainly were divisions and distinctions uh, amongst even the, the Mississaugas themselves. Um, there were times when Jones, I think, went a bit too far for some of his contemporaries and, and some of his fellow Anishinaabe. Um, but I, th I think it also, and it also offered some kind of hope, too, um, at a time when, again, People, people were feeling lost. People were, you know, feeling um, that there some, some, you know, some of their old ways were beginning to become und undermined. Um.